The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Morning Markets Kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Now, Tommy O'Brien. Good Monday morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 906 a.m. Monday morning, coming into a holiday week. We got four days of trading closed on Friday for December 24th, Christmas Eve, Saturday, of course, Christmas. If you haven't got those presents, folks, get out there and get them right now because days are running out. Uh, markets, though, not taking the week off just yet. We got some negative action continuing the run that we had, whether it was Thursday, slide from lower, higher to lower. Friday, some volatility as well when we had options expiration going on on Friday and uh, the acceleration picks up over the weekend. Now, we have a couple fundamental events going on. The Omicron variant still spreading rapidly. Seems like that is just going to rip through the population over the next month or two. Uh, on top of that, you have Senator Manchin torpedoing the Build Back Better plan that was going to happen potentially uh, late this year, early next year. Goldman out already saying that that's going to take a full percent off of the GDP forecast, one full percent, 100 basis points, just like that, gone from that bill uh, in 2022. So where the market activity falls in terms of what is the real influence here? Is it the variant? Is it the potential for uh, a stimulus plan? It's not even a stimulus plan, right? Uh, build Back Better uh, plan from the president uh, that that gets torpedoed. Uh, one of them playing into the market. I would say it's a little bit of both potentially. We jump over to yields though. Not too much of a move on yields, right? Check that out. We're sitting right now at 131.08. When you take a look at the yields in terms of what we're talking about right now in the 10 year, you're sitting right at about 1.4%, 1 1.4%, right where we were on Friday. So no move in yields as the market ticks off about 1.2% to kick things off. Got the S&P down 1.21 to be exact. NASDAQ 100 off 1.4% this morning. You got the Dow off 1.1% and the Russell off 1.4%. VIX spiking as you would expect, really above where we were on Friday, right? Look at the action. I mean, we had some huge action to the downside on Thursday. Just like that, the VIX hits 27.39 this morning. You're trading right now at 25.78. Crude dramatically trading lower. Crude trading at 67.82. You're down 4% uh, in the price of crude. You back it up to Thursday. We were trading at 72.64. So you give up about $5 in the price of crude over about two days of trading with the weekend included in there. Gold giving back some of the gains it had the last week. Gold's off about $6. Excuse me. Hit 18.15 on Friday. We covered notes and bonds. Pretty calm action so far this morning. And the VIX, as we said, above 25 right now. Okay, let's jump over to the headlines. So, you got uh, the Manchin shock, supposedly a shock, not too surprising, folks. Uh, Senator Manchin, he is a Democrat. He represents West Virginia, though. And West Virginia, I had to look it up again. West Virginia, uh, Trump won West Virginia in 2020, just to illustrate, to be a Democratic sen senator from that state, uh, by 38 points, 39 points. He won at 68 percent to 29 percent um so i say sometimes that senator manchin gets a little bit of the unfair burden from the democratic party when he represents a state that trump won by 38.9 points 38.9 points to be exact nonetheless he torpedoes that uh in my opinion there was a lot of good in there as well folks when you talk about um whether it's pre-k that type of stuff i tell you i got a son right now in pre-k um who's four years old in the house and fortunately, you know, we have the ability to be paying for that. It's unfortunate that we actually have to be paying for that, in my opinion. It seems like society would be well served um, by being able to send kids to universal pre-K, which is not quite the case right now. Nonetheless, that gets torpedo. Goldman cuts forecast by about a percent. Uh, what I will say is that when you look at crude, it's remarkable maybe that crude, in terms of the shutdowns going on, pointing to more of an impact of the variant, but I think it's just both coming down the line because this variant spreading, you're seeing countries locked down, you're seeing countries in uh, 
prohibit travel. Uh, you're seeing sporting events, even at home. Let's jump to this headline because it's interesting. When you talk about COVID hitting the NFL, we got two games going on tomorrow. I think it is Tuesday. The NFL's got two games going on as they're trying to get all their games in because you have people testing positive out there. Uh, the NBA said it postponed five games on Sunday. Yeah, three NFL games for Week 15 were postponed. The NHL had at least 20 games postponed. All right, all this plays into the economy, folks. Anytime you got 20 games, 15 games, five games, three games, the economic stimulus that goes with each one of those events, right? Think about uh, every person attending that event, every family. You're buying whatever you're buying there, right? You're buying souvenirs, you're buying food, you're going out, you're parking, maybe you're going out to eat ahead of the game, et cetera. All of that mattering. Now, this one talks about the betting sites. Um, just like the leaves left scrambling as players test positive or teams, sports betting companies are making backup plans in case their business models need adjusting. Uh, yeah, I mean, these companies, folks, man, you're looking for a company that's been pummeled. DraftKings accelerates higher Friday, which is interesting. You're going to open a little bit low with the market today, but take a look at some of these betting stocks because it might be time to try and find a low, man. You're talking about DraftKings. Earlier this year, it was at 74.38. You give back the entire run you had from the COVID lows, okay? Think about that, right? You are below where we were in DraftKings any time since over the last, what's that? Since, since they go public? Yeah, since since they go public, going all the way back to basically uh, May, they pushed uh, they pushed this out in May of 2020, and you're back to those prices from 74. Now that's DraftKings. Penn, which owns Barstool Sports, is back to 48 bucks. That's talking about prices we haven't seen since August of last year. Now, this chart goes back further. But, I mean, think about right? I mean, you're now back to almost where you were pre-pandemic levels on some of these stocks, given back that full acceleration from 142. But they might be in trouble for the foreseeable future because there are games that are being canceled across the board folks you got it over in europe going on um with soccer matches over there you got it here with football basketball what else was in here something was in here getting postponed uh nonetheless keep your eye on it because those variants uh, spreading will have an impact folks i mean i tell you i told an anecdotal story on friday but uh our son in pre-k had a positive case that was in the classroom on thursday and yeah, it's not like you're living in fear, folks, but it does impact things. And being that close to things, we were fortunate to be able to pull him out of class on the Friday. He's on Christmas break now. Seems like he did not contract the virus, so that's a good thing. But you see the ability of people, whether they're in school, right? What if we were working and maybe you wanted to take the day off instead of sending them right back to class in a class that had active COVID in it? That's going to impact the economy as well. Uh, even though we will get over this in the next two or three months, I there will be an economic impact and let's jump to some of the travel stocks because this is where you know the these stocks have gotten ahead of the market with the pullback here right you just pulled back from november of 22 bucks back to 16 you see the drop off we had when the variant first surfaced you had american airlines trading at about 19 dollars and change you're trading at 16 dollars and change right now delta airlines when the variant popped over there's your gap from the Thanksgiving, you were trading at $39. These travel stocks, they closed the heck gap and then gave it up. Remarkable, because they will be impacted. International travel will be impacted. Cruise travel will be impacted by this, folks. You got Carnival down another 60 cents. They were above $20 before the variant. You're gonna open at $17 and change for them. Uh, you know, And you could say it's a small blip in the road. How small? That's our best guess, but nonetheless, you're going to see it hit this economy, especially when you talk about some travel stocks. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be coming right back. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, folks. We have the S&Ps right now down 53 points. And if you've been watching the program enough, I have a chart up here with a channel line to the upside of this S&P 500. That might be a decisive break beneath it, folks. We are playing with a level that's definitely below there, probably lower than we've been. Uh, you look where we were back in October, flirted with that line, got below it by a decent fashion. But nonetheless, you're talking about trading down to a low of 45.26 right there on the bar that we have so far going on this morning. You're trading right now still down 52 points at 45.57. But look at that. I mean, we, we bounced over 30 points. We were down 80. 82 points at one point in the S&P 500. You get the NASDAQ down about 200 right now, NASDAQ 100, that is. All right, jumping over to Moderna. So let's take a look at Moderna. Moderna shares, uh, you're going to open above 318. So on this chart, we got a print of about 320, 318 or so. Uh, definitely far off the highs we had at 497, but you're talking about a bump of about 6-7% in the pre-market. There's your acceleration overnight after the acceleration you had on Friday. Moderna shares, third dose, boosts antibodies against Omicron. Looks like the booster uh, is quite a difference compared to the two shots here, folks. I have been boosted. I encourage you to go out there and talk to your medical professional, your doctor, to see if it's right for you. It is safe. It is effective. And yes, with two, boast, with two doses, it looks like people will be okay in general. Uh, but the third dose just uh, does a much better job, it seems like, of avoiding infection and fighting it off if needed. We saw a 37-fold increase in neutralizing antibodies by the booster dose. Now, the booster dose is 50 micrograms, which is half the dose used for the primary immunization. The company said in a statement, they're also testing a 100 microgram dose, microgram dose which increased antibody levels 83-fold compared with the primary two-dose course. So nonetheless, good news out there for the booster. Seems to keep coming. Good news on the booster, whether it's Moderna and Pfizer, uh, the two mRNA vaccines. There's your action on Moderna. We jump over to Pfizer shares. Pfizer positive as well by about a dollar uh, as we have negative action in the market across the board. All right, jumping down the line to see what else we have in terms of stocks making moves. We talked about Moderna, and yeah, we talked about the airline stocks, the travel stocks uh, weighing on that. I mean, if you thought about taking a cruise, probably going to have to rethink that one coming down the line uh, in a big way. Uh, airlines getting hit, cruise gets hit and getting hit. Biogen in the positive after announcing it would cut the price of its Alzheimer's drug. 
Adulum, Adulum. Now, this was the one that made all the press, right? They got approved. There was a big um, uproar about that getting approved and whether it was warranted in being approved. You had people quitting um, on the board over at the FDA, FDA, I believe. You spike up to 468. You actually trade all the way below that. You're up a few dollars this morning as they cut the cost of that drug. But there is a lot going on there in a big way in that in terms of, man, you know, I remember that was a make or break scenario for the stock. And a lot of analysts were talking about, you know, it gets approved, you trade up 200 bucks. It gets disapproved, you trade down $200. It's just a binary event with huge implications on Biogen. It gets approved, you trade up to 468, but now there's an investigation going on in terms of how it was approved, et cetera. You're actually below where you were coming into that event. Uh, and yes, cutting the price by half now, because I believe part of the uproar was the cost as well on top of it. Pretty remarkable, you just cut the cost by half, right? Talk about huge implications. Uh, Cerner, medical records technology pri provider, they're going to announce a deal to be acquired by Oracle in an all-cash transaction in the mid-90s. Cerner. Uh, yeah, there's there's a pop for you. Now, this had been talked about last week. You spike up to 97, 90 bucks. It's interesting when you think about it. Um, when you talk about all cash transaction, right? Interesting when you look at it. If you really think a company is just gonna absolutely take off, then you pay all cash for it because you want it all. You know, you don't want that to have anything. If you're gonna be a little worried, maybe you pay stock because you give them a piece of the action, right? By giving them a stock, you're giving them a piece of the action in the acceleration higher by paying all cash, man. They want it all. Cerner spikes to 90 bucks. Um, Yes, acquired by Oracle in the mid-90s. Now, Canopy. Canopy had been on a little bit of a tear. These these cannabis stocks, not so much, man. It's like no matter when they get a pop, it just doesn't stop in terms of you give it back up. Now, for the first time, that's a weekly, right? Cannot find a bid on that stock. Down to 869. Absolutely shocked that this thing trades below the $9, but you give it all back, folks. Maybe this is the area. You could have said that on Friday, though, and just like that, we're going to open back down to nine bucks. Uh, they, after Piper Sandler, downgraded the stock to underweight, citing sales trends that are under pressure across Canopy's business. It just doesn't stop on that cannabis sector uh, in terms of taking hits over and over to the downside. We jump over to their competitors, Tilray, in just just max pain situation for all these. Uh, what Aurora is another stock in that sector. I mean, just taking in even the the huge pop these things had three years ago out of the equation. This year alone, Aurora from 19 bucks down to five dollars and change. All right, jumping down the line, continuing to take a look at what we have going on. Sunrun, the solar company stock down about 10% in the pre-market, following a downgrade for them. Let's check out their stock, Run. We'll pull up this 15-minute. R-U-N is their symbol. Yeah, it just keeps dropping. We'll take a look at the daily. So you're down about $4 on their downgrade. AT&T gets an upgrade to overweight from neutral based on better broad broadband outlook for telecom companies than the cab for cable providers. AT&T is in the positive. Now, AT&T and Verizon, they had some big pops last week. I think that was, what, Thursday's action? Yeah, Thursday's action. Look at that pop on AT&T, man. That was quite a bar to the upside there. There was your pop continuing the run higher to 24 bucks. You had a big pop in Verizon as well. Uh, Verizon. Almost trading higher. You're at about 53 right where you closed yesterday, holding up pretty well. You got some decent dividend stocks there that are going to be less volatile than the general market, especially when an interest rate sitting at about 1.4% uh, right now on that 10 year. What else we got going on? That was pretty much down the line of what we're talking about uh, for stocks making moves. Interesting article out here talking about who's making the most money in wages. How about recruiters? It would make sense. Uh, with the wage, with the labor market so tight, U.S. recruiters in high demand get the largest bump in real wages. Uh, salaries stack up to the fastest inflation in decades. How about 14% from the last year? That's a real rise, real wise, right? Adjusted for inflation. Yes, that is a real wage jump of 4% adjusted for inflation. What do we got inflation going at? 9% in some certain areas? So you're talking about 23%. You'd need a raise to have a 14% real raise. The top 15, when you get down the list, so recruiters were at 
educators and corporate trainers, public relations, restaurant manager. How about that? A real raise of 7.5%. Cleaners, coordinators, op operations administrator. Yeah, operations is a big one that you're going to be paying for. Security specialist, web developer, legal, um, development ops engineer, consultant, SAP consultant, stylist out there getting a real raise of 5.7, software engineer, and transformation specialist down the line for the companies with the bigger wages out there. When the bottom line, you stack things up, sales representative, sales, sales. That's a tough one when sales are just eroding in a big way. Property manager, interesting in terms of how real estate's done. Property manager um, probably just can't keep up with inflation. I mean, these numbers are getting raises here. Okay, these are infl inflation adjusted. We got a much bigger raise than 1.2%. So they're getting raises. They just aren't keeping up with inflation to the tune of losing 1% real wages a year. Customer experience specialist, distribution specialist. We got sales again. Um, low end of the spectrum here. Cashier, uh, realtor. Surprising realtors aren't keeping up, but I guess you don't get raises. Um, that would be surprising with the level of, of housing prices going up. They should just get raises for their percentage. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back for the open. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome, folks. We get the S&Ps down 57 points to kick things off. NASDAQ 100 off 203. We get the Dow off 438 right now and the Russell off 32 points. You're trading at 2134. Jumping over to crude. Crude off $3 at 67.63 this morning and gold off about six bucks. We jump over to the VIX. You want to see an acceleration, folks. Checking out the volatility index, 25.55. Last week was pretty volatile, and we were basically never above a price point of 23 on the VIX this morning. You're trading 25.55. That's a solid almost 10%, folks, above where you were at uh, at the highs of last week, let alone the close. You're up 18% right now in the volatility index. All right. What else we have happening in the market? We have the TFNN Tiger Dollar Holiday Sale going on, folks. Three days left. That's it. It ends Thursday. We are closed on Friday for Christmas Eve. So it will end on Thursday, December 23rd. Folks, if you're a current subscriber out there, if you're new to TFNN, you're thinking about signing up for anything, the Tiger's Den, Market Insights, Mastering Probability, the Path of Least Resistance, uh, I encourage you to check out the Tiger Dollar Sale. You can get a 20, 30, or a 40% bonus, depending on if you spend 500, you get 600. You spend 1,000, you get 1,300. You spend 1,500, you get 2,100 Tiger Dollars for a $600 bonus or 40% bonus for the best value. They never expire. Once you apply them to your account, they're used for any newsletter, service, webinar that we host. Uh, we had a lot of great webinars that we've done over the last year on top of the newsletters. we got some great ones coming up for the next year as well. I encourage you to get over there, get your Tiger Dollars. Whether you're a current subscriber, you can apply it right to your account, folks. If you're a monthly subscriber, you lock in those added savings. We do the sale about twice a year. Uh, so we'll do this one. Next one probably coming up maybe third uh, June. Or July. I was going to say Thursday or Friday. How'd that been? June or July. Uh, twice a year. So get these Tiger Dollars before that sale ends on Thursday. Jumping over to yield. So is it? it is interesting that you have yield sitting so calm with the market going a little bit haywire right now. We're sitting right at about 1.4% on the 10-year. You look where we are on the curve. Uh, the two-year, about 6 tenths percent on the two-year right now the 30-year 1.8 percent uh so pretty calm action on the 10-year interesting trying to digest what is moving this market in terms of the 10-year versus the 30-year and just like that we do have a little bit of a rise that's probably pushing yields closer to about 1.39 percent putting that on a five-minute chart uh, yeah, since I came on the air at about 9 o'clock, you've risen from about 131.08 to 131.12. So yields decreasing a little bit as this market pulls back. S&P's down 57 points. Uh, let's jump to some of the FANG stocks. Amazon shares down 1.9% coming into the holiday season. Be interesting to see how these companies navigate uh, supply chain issues, wage issues. They're going to be getting all those packages as they should be to where they need to be. We jump over to Walmart shares. Flat going into that. We got Target shares down 1.6%. Target really giving it back a little bit from their recent high, all time high that is, of 268. We jump around to some of those other FANG stocks. Apple shares down 1.4% right now to 168. Talk about close, man. It is remarkable. They get within pennies of $3 trillion and give it up just like that to 168. You're now, you're now talking about $14 away from uh, where we need to be for $3 trillion for Apple. Microsoft has had some volatility recently, man. Uh, Microsoft, right? Let's put it on a 15 minute to see last week. You accelerate higher on Fed Day up to 337, I think. Yeah, 337. And just like that, you give back $20 from Thursday to Friday's low. This morning, you're down about eight tenths percent. But look at Microsoft catching a little bit of a bid on the open. We jump to Google shares. Google down about 1.5%. These tech stocks really trading lower now. On the flip side of that, tech stocks trading higher. Zoom shares actually trading lower on a day like today. That is interesting. Maybe all the acceleration built into uh, maybe zooming a little bit more than we thought with the most recent variant. You jump to the five minute, excuse me, back to the daily. Yeah, Zoom even was higher than that, I think, right? Yeah, 588 last October for Zoom shares. Uh, the, I mean, it is crazy. We get vaccine efficacy, and this thing just tanks all the way into this year to 200. I was talking about earlier when this thing was down at like 175, saying if you get back to pre-pandemic levels of 100 in Zoom, I would definitely be buying there. Not sure we get back there. Maybe this is the bounce. Zoom is a great company, folks. I don't imagine you give it all back to where we were pre-pandemic levels. You had Zoom trading in 2019 at 105. Their company has changed dramatically for the better since then, dramatically. Yes, they're not growing as fast as they thought, um, but man, 
you know, Zoom has become a word in the English language that it was just not there prior to COVID. Uh, now, this morning, interestingly, you give back 10 bucks just that quick. So I don't think it's going to be that dramatic. Yes, things are changing slightly, folks, but I don't imagine a huge transformation to our lives. Uh, you're going to see certain things, right? I'm a little bit less likely, myself speaking, to go into big events, right? Maybe I was going to be open to seeing a movie, going to a sporting event. Maybe I'm going to let this wave uh, subside to that. Doesn't mean I'm going to change family holiday plans to that degree, uh, as in I'm not going to need to Zoom as much as during the pandemic because I'm vaccinated. I have my booster. I'm not as worried about that. You go see your family. So Zoom, yes, they will benefit, but not like they're going to benefit in the middle of the pandemic. OK, let's jump down the line and see what else we have going on. Uh, let's see. NFL recruiters. OK, let's just jump around to some of the stocks that I like to take a look at, particularly volatile Disney. They're going to take a beating when you got things shutting down. California shut it down hard on Disney. I wonder if they'll come back to that type of a model. Disney trained down about 2 percent today to 145. Uh, Uber, it said some nice action last week, but they're giving it back a little bit today with the market. Uber trade to above 40. Last week, you were at 34.88. You kick off the week, you end the week actually almost 15% higher at about 40. You're down about 3.3% for Uber shares so far this morning. Uh, we jumped to DocuSign. This thing's been pummeled in a big way, but interesting looking at some of these markets. I mean, you look at a market that's at all-time highs, but these are the types of stocks that people say, you know, there's a lot of weakness in this market beyond just all-time highs if you take out the FANG stocks. You have DocuSign down 1.3% today. You make a low last week of about 130, though. You see that acceleration? Uh, 136. Is that going back a little bit further? Let's back it up. Yeah, there's your low a couple weeks ago. 131 since then. We've been skipping across. It looks like nothing on this chart, but that's only because the fall off was so substantial. I mean, you're up, what is that, $22 off of the lows of where you were. And as I mentioned, last week you were at 136. So you're talking about $17 above those lows. That's about a 12%, 13% pop for DocuSign. Back on the daily, it's going to take a while to fill that gap and repair that damage done. But nonetheless, DocuSign down 1.4% with the market so far today. We jumped to Bitcoin. Bitcoin has just been a, a slide to lower prices. I imagine we got 40000 coming to us in Bitcoin eventually. Our man Basil Chapman's coming up live next with the Tiger Technician's Hour. He loves that cup and handle formation. He talks about the symmetry of the moves. And uh, I learned that nice one from him. And I'm always looking for that symmetry. And it seems like this one's just got a little bit further to go to make that symmetrical one uh, to the bottom side. You're talking about from 41000 right now. You're sitting at 45. I had to double check this when I looked at it last week. I said, was Bitcoin just at 69000 in November? November 10th, five weeks ago? And you're at 45000 Boy, talk about volatility. We back it up on a three-year weekly. You see the run. Bitcoin. 65,520 back in April. We spike at 69,335. Seems all but natural. We give that back to about 41,000. Maybe that's the buy. Correlates to the high, which is interesting, that we had from January back in that area as well. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be coming right back. Finish up the show. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We have the S&Ps down 66, NASDAQ down through 213. And I hate to do it, folks, but Jimmy in the den, man, is garbage. All right, this anti-vaccine, folks, all right, we had a conversation in the den. It starts off with him saying, all right, and because this is important, okay? It's important because I have a young son, all right? And you have to protect society, folks, whether it's from the norms of democracy or it's the, the norms of rational, reasonable conversations okay so first the comment is not a single professional athlete because i was talking about sports shutting down so jimmy in the den decides because you're out there putting it out there jimmy so so stand up for the statement you're saying okay he's out there saying not a single professional athlete has been hospitalized it's just wrong folks it's just straight out wrong facts that gets used by people for a political narrative okay there are many 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 okay Many people that are professional athletes that have been hospitalized. In the NFL, you have it, okay? You have it this year, you have it last year. Many people. Then he says, as many people have died from the flu as died from COVID. Not true. Almost a million people died of COVID. But people like to throw out these nonsensical statements to help their narrative, okay? Uh, and then he says, it would just be better if we all got it for natural immunity, okay? I have a young son. I go to doctor's appointments, folks. I don't know if you know, when you have a young child, okay, first you go for the right away appointment, then you go for the monthly appointment, then you go for the two month, and then you go for the four month, the six month, the nine month, okay, and I'm gonna have the 12 month coming up. Every single time I go there, he gets vaccines. The doctor doesn't tell me, hey, guess what? Just let him get everything, okay, because most of the time the kids are fine, and then his natural body will do it. It's crazy pills, okay? And it goes hand in hand with what's going on with democracy right now, since it does, okay? Because somehow we're taking crazy pills that the ex-president, the last president, Donald Trump, is gonna run again in 2022, and he's acting like the biggest sore loser I've ever witnessed, okay? If I had a son that was in high school and they lost a presidential race for high school, okay? And he came home and he complained that all the votes were fake and everybody was out to get him, okay? Everybody would look at that child and go, man, that is so immature that he can't handle a loss like a man, okay? It's an erosion of democracy and it's gonna be called out on TFNN, folks, okay? And the anti-vaccine rhetoric is gonna be called out because I'm not gonna be sending my kid to high schools and colleges full of people like Jimmy in the Den that says we shouldn't be forced to take vaccines. Folks, vaccines have been required for school since I've been alive and probably since you've been alive, okay? So this new insane 
rhetoric. Okay, it is very dangerous. And I ask you to call out this rhetoric when you see it like I'm calling out where I see it. Okay, it's crazy pills. Okay, and it's very dangerous. Just like OK, and listen, Republicans have a lot of great ideas, folks. I fall right in the middle and it makes me sad that Republicans are getting run over that. I can't even think about voting Republican. Otherwise, votes won't matter because I will be I will be fulfilling. OK, their goal, OK, of electing probably Donald Trump to the next election where he says that all votes are fake on the on the ones that he loses. OK, I have a son who's not even one year old. I want to protect democracy to where he can be 80 or 90 years old and, and be OK with the fact that the country is going to be OK if we respect everybody's right to vote. OK, it's insane on the crazy pill level, OK, that we're going to have a president, regardless of what you think about January 6th, which is its own deal. OK, but we're going to have a president that literally doesn't think a vote is fair if he loses. If somebody in high school acted like that, folks, and your child wanted to hang out with that person that lost their election and said that it was garbage and everybody was out to get him, and guess what? That's not the truth, folks, okay? So this anti-vaccine rhetoric, okay, Jimmy, saying that, yes, you are ranting, okay? You're ranting that not a single, this all started with an exaggeration because everything is an exaggeration, folks, okay? Because I'm talking about NFL games getting shut down. And Jimmy says not a single person in the pro sports, not a single pro athlete, talk about a definitive statement, Jimmy, not a single pro athlete. Do you know how many pro athletes are in this world, folks, that have, that have gotten COVID? Not a single pro athlete's ended up in the hospital. Well, he's wrong. OK, so either he's just lying purposely or he doesn't care about the information you're putting out there, Jimmy. So I'm here to correct it because it's not true. And it's life or death when you're putting out that type of information. And there's tons of people. OK, you said it was an exaggeration after the fact, after I called you out for your BS information that you're using to to fight against the vaccine. OK, stand up for what's right, folks. OK, this is a stock show. But this is going on when I talk about how things matter when the NFL gets shut down games and betting sites get shut down games. Anti-vaxxers take that opportunity, okay, and they say everybody should just get it. Natural immunity, okay? Folks, it's not how it works, okay? The political crazy pill going on in people's heads, I don't get it, okay? But if you have a young kid, you show up, and every single appointment they're getting vaccines because that's what keeps people safe. OK, don't fall into the trap of these fear mongers talking about that. OK, because you, you'd look at your pediatrician, folks, if they said to you, you know what? Vaccines are great, but I read on the Internet that it's even better if we just let your kid get everything. OK, because they'll probably be fine. And I believe in the human. You know, you'd look at your pediatrician like they were crazy. Well, stand up for what's right. All right. This this deal of just talking about garbage, folks, my rant. OK, but it's it, it goes hand in hand with what's going on in democracy right now, too. OK, because if you remember the election, I was dealing with the same people in the Tigers den. OK, saying just let the votes be certified in the states and all this will go away. Right. Just let the votes get certified. That's what they said. They said, just let the votes get certified and then the election will be settled. Well, here we are four years later with January 6th in tow and the same exact people are going to be saying, OK, well, you know what? Let's just see where the election goes and we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll see how Trump handles things this time when he loses. OK, because he was the president last time when he lost and he spent four years saying that the votes don't matter, that if he loses, it's not fair. It's not right. It's a childish tantrum that he is throwing, folks. And it goes hand in hand with not recognizing the reality we live in. OK, vaccines work. OK, yes, there are side effects that are rare and do happen. OK, I'm not taking crazy pills myself and I'm not just polishing the world and saying that they're perfect. OK, they do happen. Talk to your doctor. There are people that it may make sense not to get vaccinated. OK, overall, it is not a fair statement to be in there. OK, saying that nobody needs them, nobody healthy gets hospitalized. Right. It's the same exact routine. Stand up for what's right, folks. OK, because we've seen the erosions that have taken place over the last five years. And I look at my son who was just born, who's not even one year old. And I think about trying to protect society for his 80 years. OK, and I'm already getting emails. I'm seeing them coming in. I love it. Send me all the emails. If you don't believe in vaccines, send them to me and send them to me. Why? All right. I would love to read them. I like information, folks. OK, and if there's something out there I'm not aware of, I want to know it. 
okay? But when I see bad information in my Tiger's Den, all right, in the TFNN Tiger's Den, saying no professional athletes ever go to the hospital, okay, it's garbage. It's garbage. Call it out for what it is, folks, because it's becoming way too prevalent that people feel proud to spread bad information. OK, you should be ashamed for spreading bad information that might cause people to make bad decisions for their own health. Jimmy, you should be ashamed for telling people that healthy people don't get sick and go to the hospital because you're wrong because they do. And it's life or death sometimes, Jimmy. OK, so your little exaggeration telling people don't need the vaccine because healthy people don't go to the hospital. They do. So it's important to get that information out there. We'll talk stocks for the last few minutes. when We come back. Stay tuned, folks. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We get the market picking up steam to the negative side right now. We put it back on a five-minute chart, the S&Ps. We make an overnight low of 45.26. I was talking about it. By 7 a.m., you were up to 45.66. You rised 40 points. Just like that, we give up 30 points, and we give up a lot of those points right on the open. We were just trading at 45.57. You give up 20 points in the last 14 minutes of trading right now in the S&Ps. Yeah, what's up with this market, GB? I'm not sure. Uh, NASDAQ, a little bit of a different story, though. Uh, 15,605. So you're down 1.2% in the NASDAQ 100, 1.6% in the S&Ps. The Dow's off 1.8%. The Russell really picking up steam off 2.4%. Crude picking up steam as well. 
off uh, below 67 bucks. You're trading at 66.92. Gold negative as well. You're off about nine bucks to 17.95. We jump over to the VIX. VIX spiking almost near 26, and we jump to notes and bonds right now. <coughs> Excuse me. And yeah, we're seeing a little bit of a rise. So much for no action right now. We got the 10 year is up six ticks since I've been on the program right now to 131.14. And you're talking about a yield right now of 1.38%. So we just dropped two basis points in the 10 year right now to 1.38%. Over in Europe, Negative action in a big way, as you'd expect. The DAX off 1.8%, FTSE's off 1%, CAC rolls off 1.3%. So you're talking about right in line with our indices right now, as we have the Dow basically off 1.7, FTSE off 1. Point, uh, excuse me, DAX off 1.8, FTSE off 1.1, uh, NASDAQ 100 off about 9 tenths percent. Let's jump to some of those FANG stocks and see if they're holding things up. Apple only down eight tenths percent, so that's a little bit ahead of the market. Microsoft holding up well as as well, only uh, down half a percent right now we jump to google shares down about nine tenths percent so you could make the argument that some of the fang stocks holding up a little bit better than the market amazon though down 1.5 percent all right folks thanks so much for tuning in starting your trading day with me stay tuned we got our man basil chapman he's coming up with the tiger technicians hour next live we got uh larry pesimento at 11 fast market at 12 Steve Rhodes at 1 o'clock. I believe our man Dave White may be on vacation this week. Uh, but we'll have programming at 2. And Tom O'Brien, my dad, he'll be live from 3 till 4. Don't forget about the Tiger Dollar Sale, folks. Runs through Thursday. Only three more days of that Tiger Dollar Sale this week. Thanks so much, folks. Have a great Monday. Stay tuned. Basil's up next. <laughs>